use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. This explanation is continued from the prior segment. For best results, watch the prior segment, number 15, first. If you're feeling good and you resonate, you got some good meanings going on for something, then you're eliciting all this good stuff, the past, the present, the future, your health, your emotions, you're listening all of that. If you had a bad feeling about something or you got, uh, you're listening, a, uh, you have a bad meaning about something, Somebody did you wrong, or, or something's going wrong, or it's not good, or shouldn't have been, that poop shouldn't have been in the, in the aisle in the store, then you're resonating with all this stuff. You're not feeling good, you're not, your emotions are bat down, your, your body's down, your immune system is down, you're remembering bad things from the past, your present doesn't look too good, and your future doesn't look too good. Those are the two main groups. Those are your similarities. Those are your resonant similarities right there. And if you notice, it all breaks down to two categories. Your body is either good or bad. Your emotions are either good or bad. That's how it is. That's, that's how it is. If you noticed, everything in your life seems to be divided into two groups. That is the nature of relativity. Something is always on one side or the other at any given moment. Even though everything seems to be divided into two groups, notice that they are always the same two groups, whether it is your emotions, your body, or your experiences. So, if you notice any thoughts or feelings on either side, you can tell what you're creating for yourself. If you are thinking that the future is going to be great, then you will be thinking that your past was at least okay and that you have learned from it and you will be feeling good emotionally and your body will be functioning at its best. If you noticed that nothing was working out for you, then you know that you are resonating with everything on the red side, the bad side. That means that your body's immune system is shut down, you aren't feeling good, and your present and your past don't look good at all. While you can deduce the side that you are on by noticing anything that is on that particular side, the easiest way is just to notice your emotions. They will quickly indicate which side you are resonating with. If you are feeling good, then you can expect to be experiencing and seeing everything on the green side. However, if you are feeling bad, frustrated, upset, or otherwise not happy, then you can expect to be resonating, attracting, and experiencing everything on the red side. Bad things. Everything in the universe has good aspects and bad aspects. If your emotions indicate that you are on one side or the other, you can expect to be resonating with, eliciting, attracting, noticing, and coming to the notice of those aspects of the situation. If you buy a brand new car and you are resonating and eliciting the negative side of the situation, it may turn out to be a lemon. Or you could end up like a man I heard about who bought a brand new car with cash, decided to get the insurance later, pulled out into traffic, and totaled it right in front of the car dealership. Or if you are resonating and eliciting the negative aspects of your experiences, you could be like a woman I heard about who went into surgery to get her knee operated on and wound up getting her sphincter muscle rebuilt, her butthole. It could be that potential cancer situation 
that your body has been holding back now begins to grow and spread without your awareness of it. However, if you are resonating on the positive side of things, you might notice a lottery ticket on the sidewalk and end up with millions of dollars. You could end up totaling your car, which means that you didn't make it to work on the top floor of the World Trade Centers on September 11, 2001. Good thing you crashed your car. It could be that the foods that you are eating, which might have made someone else sick, taste great to you and are of no consequence because your immune system is at its peak performance. You could stop in at a gas station and meet the love of your life. You could wake up one night with an idea that changes your life. You could get up to the ticket counter at the airline just to find out that your flight was overbooked and you had to get the next flight just to find out later while on the next flight you were sitting right next to the person who could help you accomplish your mission. That happened to Deepak Chopra, who told that story with Wayne Dyer at a talk they had together. It is easy to see that it is better to be resonating and eliciting the positive aspects of your life experience. So, what do you do when you realize that you are feeling frustrated or unhappy? You have to get to the feeling good side, whatever it takes. It is clear that there are no benefits or advantages to feeling bad. No amount of self-pity, self-criticism, guilt, or remorse will bring a good result. But instead, it will deteriorate your body, lower your ability to fight off disease, and will elicit no end of bad, unfortunate experiences into your life. You must change it. Use your God power in stages. This is where your God power is very effective. However, if the situation is really bad or uncomfortable, you may need to use your God power in stages. First stage. No matter what the situation is, assert the meaning that something is working out in some way. Now that you have asserted that meaning, you will now elicit that something into view. What is it? Can you see it yet? Remember that everything in the universe has positive and negative aspects. So if you consider that, quote unquote, something is working out, then you will elicit it from the field of all possibilities into view where you can not only see it, but take advantage of it. Once you become aware of just what that quote-unquote something is, then build on it. Say, that's good. Now what are my opportunities from where I am right now? Notice that you said opportunities. That has a twofold power. First, by saying opportunities and not solutions, you logically discount the problem. And second, you elicit and bring into view not only the short-term solution, but you become aware of the bigger picture and become aware of options that are far more than solutions. They are great opportunities. The key is, to work your way up to the best meaning that you can, little by little. What's good about this situation? What are my opportunities from here? You can keep going and going until you realize that this was the best thing that could have ever happened, and now you are glad that it did. Refer to these chapters. Tuning your meaning with your belief which is chapter 7, you must decide. And you negotiate with your emotions, which is chapter 11, the reality of your emotions, and the four levels of enlightenment, which is chapter 11, the reality of your emotions.
options. Now activating the next video play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.